this is lesson 11, finding area in square meters. So the sheet says that a square meter measures one meter in length by one meter in width. So it's sort of like a centimeter squared or a square centimeter, except for instead of each side being one centimeter in length, this is one meter in length. And on your paper, uh, the square that I have for the diagram is, is not the actual size of a meter. Um, a paper is not a meter length or width, so we couldn't do an actual meter on a paper. So we'll mostly just do it, be doing models. So this is a model, and it's just to show that one length is one meter and the other length is one meter. And so this would be uh, one meter squared, but just as a model. And then a uh, one meter squared is also 100 centimeters squared. So you could fit 100 of those centimeter squares inside of a, a meter squared. Okay, um, so that's the first thing that you need to know. The next thing that we'll look at is um, because we need to use models because papers are not big enough. Um, we're going to make one square represent one meter, sort of like centimeters, but now we need to remember to change the units. Okay, so this is a grid, and in this grid, we've made each one worth one meter squared, and uh, so this is just showing that, so it's one meter squared. <clears throat> All right, so if we flip to the back of our papers, We've got practice, so it's a pretty short and sweet lesson, but um, so what we need to do is find the area of each rectangle. We've got A, B, C, and D. So you could do a number of ways. There's actually two ways, I guess. Um, you could just fully count out each one of these squares, or you could count the length time, or this is the length times the width, whatever, doesn't really matter, um, and you'll get the, the thing. So you could count out this times this, or just count them all. It gets uh, big rectangles over there, so you might want to switch up your strategies depending on what you're doing. Um, okay, so pause the video and find the areas of each one of these. There's a spot below to write the areas. Don't forget to write meters squared, um, and then play again once you're finished so that we can uh, see if you got the right answers. Okay, and uh, I can't really fit both on my smart board smart board is not working uh, so i'm just going to write it on on the actual board so i don't have to keep walking back and forth to the computer anyways so if i counted 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 i would get 16 meters squared i could have also counted 4 times 4 equals 16. b i think that's the easiest one on this page is 2 meters squared this one it would probably be easier to just count one, two, instead of going, okay, it's one, two across, and it's, there's only one row, so one times two, that's extra work. Okay, number, or letter C is another one where it's just easier to count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven meters squared. Notice that two, the two goes smaller and up. Okay, and then lastly, we've got D, and this is the big one. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So it's five across, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't off my screen. So we can go five times ten, and that equals fifty. I'm just going to write it right on my box here. So fifty meters squared. So if I was marking this on an assignment, um, you this would be out of eight marks. And you would get four marks for writing meters squared. And you would get four marks for writing 16, 2, 7, and 50. Like one mark each. So each one of these is worth two marks. So make sure you put those units because they're important. <clears throat> 